The Omicron variant has been especially challenging for many restaurants that saw fewer customers over the holidays. News 8's Kyle Mitchell explains how a Grand Rapids brewery is making changes because of the difficulties. Running a brewery and restaurant two years into a pandemic. It's been really difficult for us and been difficult for restaurants just across the board. Is it for the faint of heart? Lord, I'm sure people are noticing that some beloved places are closing right now. Heather Van Dyke Titus, a co-owner of Harmony Hall on the northwest side of Grand Rapids, says staying flexible is a necessity. We're adjusting our hours to be open on Thursday, Friday and Saturday, and we're also adjusting our menu. Um, we do pizza at our other location across town. We're going to bring pizza back over here. <laughs> The holiday rush normally helps restaurants during the slower winter months, but Omicron kept numbers lower. The day before Thanksgiving is one of the busiest nights of the year, and it just did not happen this year. Normally you get a lot of holiday sales, and then that can help you be able to weather January and February being a little slower. And um, those just didn't happen for people because of Omicron. Harmony is also adding beer distribution during the pandemic to help grow its business. It was just recently approved to switch its licensing from a brew pub to a microbrewery. Our restaurants across this entire city still do need some support. Barry Van Dyke, who is also a co-owner, says the business is working to grow its events. Over here at Harmony Hall, we're doing music on Saturday nights. We're doing comedy nights on Friday nights. Um, we're doing trivia nights on Thursday. Things that people have been craving for a long time and are starting to feel more comfortable coming out and doing. Despite the challenges, Harmony Hall has hope for the future. We have a lot of confidence that we're going to make it through this, and one of the things that gives us the most confidence is we have just a great staff, hardworking people who have uh, carried a lot of weight over the last two years and continue to amaze us. Um, they're not going anywhere. We're not going anywhere. In Grand Rapids, Kyle Mitchell, News 8.